So now I have uh, Vishant in my car playing a very gracious guide to me and he's taking me to the Girnar Range Ropeway. Now it's a cable car that's supposedly the longest or the tallest one in India or maybe this part of the world. Asia. In Asia, uh, he corrects me. And uh, Vishant, by the way, is a kidney recipient whose father Tarun I have been talking to all this while. And um, Vishant has also organized a talk for me at a hotel called The Fern, which is a stone's throw away from here. We're actually passing it on the left. And they have got together their staff to listen to a little talk on organ donation. Who knows? which life we're going to save, but it's really nice that they got this together at such short notice. So that's going to happen at 3 o'clock and now it's about 12.45 in the afternoon and we're going to the ropeway to get all the way to the top of the Girnar Mountains range, one of the, one of the peaks, not all of it. Now the other trivia that uh, you need to know about Junagar is that when partition was happening, when uh, princely states were asked to pick Pakistan or India, the Nawab of Junagard actually picked to be in Pakistan. He picked for his kingdom to be a part of Pakistan. All of this what we're driving in could have been Pakistan. And then to, uh, with some police action, India, I think, um, uh, annexed this portion and uh, it is now part of Gujarat. However, this city, Junagarh, is still shown as Pakistani territory in Pakistan's maps. And uh, that's quite interesting, just like, you know, China shows certain portions of India as part of theirs, and of course Kashmir is shown as part of Pakistan. And this thing, well into India's landmass, is seen as part of Pakistan. So yeah, you're looking backwards into the car now, that's Vishant and this is me. Vishant, you're being a really fabulous guide. You obviously know your city really well. So come on, tell me the history. Tell me all that you're telling me now. So the Mount Girnar is said to be the elder brother of the Himalayas because it is so old even than the Himalayas, even before the Himalayas were uh, formed from the tectonic uh, structure shift. And uh, the Navinath Dada's Murti and the Jain Dera Sir in Mount Girnar is said to be back by carbon dating back to 84,000 years old. So one of the oldest uh, Murtis in the world is on Mount Girnar in Junagadh. So like this uh, we're going to get a little trivia here and there and uh, on the way back there is a, a white stone that we passed. Tell us about that stone. That stone is called the Ashok Shila Lake. King Ashoka uh, inscribed on it and it is it has never been deciphered by any historians till the date. It is the unsolved message left by the King Ashoka. So maybe that message if solved may bring in world peace. Who knows? So let's keep trying that. And I'm not sure you could see this but if I zoom in perhaps some part of the ropeway, uh, the cable car is seen. So we're going to go to the top of that hill using the ropeway. It seems quite high. I wonder how tall it is. And uh, I'm sure all of that will be given as we go nearby and are able to get some statistics. And now we're going to be stopped by some cops wondering what this car is all about. So let's hear what they have to say. Kemchuk. <laughs> तो मैं सुना की आपका ये जो रोप वे काफी मशहूर है तो देखने आ गए कोशिश तो यही है तो पार्किंग यही कर लूँ आगे आगे जवान तक आ जाओ अच्छे मिले वहाँ पे का पार्किंग शुक्रिया सो ये यू नेवर आर्ग्यू विथ द पुलिस और एनी अथॉरिटी यू स्माइल यू स्पीक 
you get them involved and all will be well so yeah he said take it as far as you can if you find good parking you park and that's the whole point now that we have their support we'll take it all the way to the cable car if need be clearly the tourist season hasn't uh, the tourist season is looking alive here I'm sure it's worse when it's actually alive so let's find a parking place so this is the ticket counter for what they call the Udan Katola. Udan Katola. This is the counter for the Udan Katola cable car. Uh, Rishant is being the perfect host, getting me my ticket. This cable car service just opened, I think, in October of 2020 during the uh, during the pandemic. So it doesn't make sense for them to shut it down because of the pandemic, because it's getting better now than it was in October last year. And this is how you enter. So this is the best time to come into a place like this because tourist action is quite low and... Uh, oh, hello. This is the entry. Of course, there's food in there. There's everything that a tourist would want. Of course, there's a lot of religious sites on top and the pujas are an integral part of those. And you can book your pujas. This is the boarding area, the waiting area. And while you wait, there's a lot of fun for the kids. Udan Katola, that's what this is called. It's a nice mural over there. It looks like a five-star airport. I hope they can keep it this way. It's brand new for sure. Of course, I'm following Vishant into the into the restroom. Everything looks really spick and span right right now. Shiny, sanitized. His and hers. And the true measure of a place is how they keep their restrooms. And this is how they keep their restrooms. It's okay, not so bad. I mean, it's as good or as bad as any airport. Very modern ticket, scanned. Specialized phones. And we're now in line for the next cable car. Known as the tallest cable car system in Asia. This is on the Girnar mountain range in Junagarh, Gujarat. So Vishan, Vishan, this is your first time? No, my second. Second time? Yes. So you've been playing tourist guide for other people as well? Yeah. So tell me, what is your uh, what has your life been since you've got a transplant? Uh, before transplant, I was hardly able to walk. Now I can walk, I can run, I can cycle, I can do anything. I have been more confident ever since. I'm living my life and I'm enjoying it. And are you doing all those things? Yes. Regularly? Yes. Regularly, yes. Running, walking, cycling? Uh, so I love cycling the most and I am cycling regularly. So then the World Transplant Games has a cycling yes. competition. Are you going to be a part of that? Yes. And I also play table tennis. I have not been practicing it, but I will also take part in table tennis. Awesome. And now we're on our way to the top of that mountain. I still have no idea how high that is from a sea level point of view, but I'm sure it's up there. We'll get that. And now we're committed. There's no turning back. And if you're lucky, you will see a lion like below us. Really? The lions come up here? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So they they once come the, in the city also. So this is all the gear forest now? Yeah. So what about the gear lion sanctuary? How far is that? That is around 60 kilometers from here. Okay, so the lions have their territory this far? Yes. And what about that road that goes in that forest? What do you think that is? That is also a uh, called Bor Devi. 
that is also part of the forest plan. So we're up and up and up and up and up. We're getting out of the cable car airport, so to speak, of the cable board. And uh, rumor has it that we could spot lions. They come as far as here. 60 kilometers away is the where the lion sanctuary is. But it, has, it is known that lions do come in these areas as well. And uh, if we're lucky, we'll see one. Now I'd say far back, it's a very hazy afternoon, otherwise you could have seen the city of Junagadh well beyond the, that valley you see in front, but these all look like uh, religious spaces and hotels and lodges to house the tourists that come here to take advantage of this new uh, tourist attraction called the Udan Katola that takes you up the Girnar mountain that one monolith, uh, it's a monolith, one rock. Of course, we have many of those in South India. Outside of Bangalore, there's plenty of these. But in a place like Gujarat, this range, known as the grandfather of the Himalayas, which means they've been around much before the Himalayas were formed. Now, what happened to pilgrims before this ropeway or this cable car was built. Well, if you see, those are steps going all the way up and that was the only way up. Of course, the Indian enterprise would create rest stops, food stops, coffee stops, tea stops to take care of the pilgrims. And there are people carrying older people who cannot make it by foot. And at this time of the day, it's quite hot. It's already 35 degrees. And uh, anyone that's making it up at this point is nuts. The best time to walk up, and I would have walked up had it been early in the morning, but I'm not going to give myself unnecessary punishment because I have a long journey up ahead with me and my back is starting to uh, talk back to me. So I thought I'd give it a rest. So a better view of the stairs that go up to the Girnar Mountain. We're already quite a ways up. My eyes, my ears are popping, my eyes aren't, but my ears certainly are popping. That's indication of altitude happens when I'm on a plane. So the ropeway goes up to the place called Ambaji. It is around 500, 5,500 uh, 5, steps from the down. And there's a place called the Dattatre, which is more 5,500 steps from the Ambaji. The ropeway cannot go there. The place is this small, famous for a uh, religious uh, purpose. The place is this small, there's no ropeway there. And is there a way to that lake? Yes. You think I could camp there? Yeah. In some remote place, right by the water? Yeah, you can. <laughs> so what lake is that? Do I? How do I get there? Uh, I also don't know that. We've arrived at the rock face. Bang in front of us, just like a wall. And this is when I'm sure the machine is pulling the hardest. Still seems quite a distance. I would just say another kilometer or so, a little more. And uh, this is what they all come here to pray at, the Jain Derasar. Imagine building this thing up here carrying all the material by that stairway up here I'm not sure under what human conditions that was done I wouldn't want to know but it cannot be pretty either it's extreme devotion or extreme exploitation only those two things could have made this happen the 
does sure look beautiful. How old do you think this is, Vishant? Uh, I don't know that the Murti is actually 84,000 years old. So the deity that's in this temple is carbon dated to be 84,000 years old, and all of these structures have probably been built around that uh, deity that they may have found. So 84,000 years old, that's a long time ago. So this structure here belongs to someone Vishant and his family know. It's private property and apparently you could stay the night over there. Maybe you will do that. And we're home, ladies and gentlemen. There's a long line of people wanting to come down and we're going to get there. We're out. It's probably hotter here, although we're pretty tall up. Um, I don't know, maybe a thousand, two thousand feet up. And now we have stairs to climb even further up. And he says there's another 5,000 stairs to go someplace else. Uh, to another point of the peak. These steps lead us to the Ambaji Mandir. A pilgrimage of the Jain following. No, no, not the Jain. This is not? This is not the Jain. That is the that one that down is, there. That one is. Yes. That is the Jain following. And... This is, yeah, Amba, Amba Ma. I, I get it, my bad. Of course, we have mutual funds being promoted there, right on the wall. Money and religion, two things that run this world. Now, that's the additional few thousand steps to get up to that point. No, 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 Ah, so we are going on the ridge line on this one. This is like the Great Wall of China. Except it's not. It's the great wall of nature. This is what nature built. And uh, this is all part of the Girnar mountain range. Just short of the coast of Somnath. When I say just short, about 60, 70 kilometers from here is the ocean. And all little lakes could be fabulous campsites. With only 4 by 4s being able to get up there. I mean, Gujarat tourism has done a fabulous job, but you know, they could take it one step further and you'll have a lot more people coming here. So that, that point over there is the end point on the ridge. And uh, Vishan says that there's a Supreme Court battle between the Jains and the Jains and the Jains and the Hindus claiming that to be theirs. Wow. Of course, that's an important fight. It doesn't matter if humanity is uh, not important. And the little marketplace as we walk. All the little goodies, the Maggies, the colas, the soft drinks, the food, the picnics, the trash. All part of the... All par for the course. So this is that Ashoka monument where inside there's a stone with his inscriptions that haven't been able to be deciphered just yet. Um, it's called Ashok Shila Lake Junagar. Ashok K. Shila Lake. It basically says inscriptions of uh, Emperor Ashoka that probably has the secret of world peace in there, but we just don't know it. And this is the restaurant in the Fern Hotel. Apparently they have 80 some locations across western and northwestern India. This looks so beautiful. Of course, uh, the Metas have brought me here for lunch. And then later on, I think the staff will be gathered around so we can do a little organ donation session with them. Very kind of them to let us do this. I really appreciate that. Uh, I will tag the Fern and hopefully the fern and I can have a relationship going forward. Uh, not the firm, but the fern. Very well done, looks great. So we're walking through the fern. Oh, what a lovely pool this is. This was a fantastic property right here in Junagad, at the foot of the Girnar. And this young man is leading us to where everyone's assembled. To hear a little bit about organ donation. 
It's a brand new property. Looks like it. They have 80 plus hotels around India, mostly in the west and northwest. Thank you. And this property is going on and on and on. This is fabulous. Wow. And we're still walking. This place is huge. And then we're going on the lift. There's many more floors. Getting off on the first floor and there is a game zone here. Bowling. Get out, what are you saying? Junagar. In Gujarati means the old fort. And a room full of the yellow shirts. Wow, look at this. All right, time for me to talk. Nothing scarier than a black bull charging at you. I don't know which way he's going to go. But he doesn't look very happy. So this is the Sangam, the confluence of the river. There are two rivers that come and join the ocean and that's one and on this side is the other. And they look so spectacular in the, in the gleaming sun of the sun, setting sun actually, the gleaming setting sun. Makes everything look nicer, brighter and I'm going to now face the sun. We're a little ways away from uh, sunset but that's the ocean, the Indian Ocean at the Somnath Temple. There seems to be a bridge that you can just walk across in low tide into those that I believe would be an island.